Hello and welcome to Business Daily Africa. Our guest today is Ian Mudomi, founder and CEO of Vision Drill, which is an online learning platform powered by AI to personalize the learning experience. I'm your host, Genevieve Awino. Stay tuned. Social learning platform powered by AI to personalize the learning experience. Before, we were not able to give career recommendations when students were taking our courses. And we had no method of simplifying complex topics taught by instructors. Through AI, we are able to give career recommendations and simplify complex topics. We need to upgrade from the traditional way of gauging competence, which is based on the memorization of facts. Now, vision, what Vision Drill allows you to do is it frees you from memorizing tasks so that you can work on more, more fulfilling things like solve real world problems because you no longer need to memorize tasks. So instead of gauging a student based on the memorization of fact, we gauge them based on their ability to solve real world problems. Number one, it is fast tracking research. Meaning that we can come up with solutions for real world problems faster than ever before. It is impacting the future of work because humans are, we are now able to free humans from tasks that are not fulfilling, repetitive tasks. And now they can focus on more fulfilling tasks. I like to start by saying that Vision Drill has been integrating AI since the very beginning. We use AI for noise cancellation on our video conferencing solution, smart shapes on our whiteboard solution. So Chat GPT is more like the advancement of AI. So Vision Drill is different in that Chat GPT does not give you access to current events. Vision Drills AI gives you access to current events. In addition to that, Vision Drill is different in that we are a social learning platform. So we encourage learning through collaboration and basically socialization. It is capable of creating new knowledge based on the tr data that it has been trained on. Our AI can produce biased content because, and what makes it produce biased content is because it has been trained on all the data on the web. And the data on the web, some of the, most of the data is, you know, written by humans. And sometimes we as humans, can create articles that are misleading or biased. And so the AI is trained on that data so it can produce biased content or misleading content, yeah. AI will coexist with universities. Universities have to rethink pedagogy in regards to learning. So, like I said earlier on, instead of, you know, awarding students because, you know, they, they have gotten all the questions to an exam correct, that is not really, getting all the questions correct is not really, th that does not solve any problem. So instead of that, um, universities should focus more on case studies, creativity, and problem solving.
I think jobs will now look at competency, skills, rather than, you know, degrees. Yes. So because if you are an employer, you will not be concerned about someone who was good at getting all the correct answers in an exam. You will be interested in hiring someone that can help you solve problems in your company. Someone that can, collab that can work collaboratively with your employees. You'll be looking at emotional intelligence. AI is used to power apps like Uber, online shopping sites, social media platforms. So AI is basically not a new concept. And you know, saying that, uh, let's assume trying to create an idea around living without AI would mean placing an end on civilization as we know it today. In order for us to create sentient machines, the machines need to be able to perceive the environment around. And currently, that is far-fetched. That is not possible with what is available right now. And so I believe discussions around sentient AI are over-optimistic discussions. But it is naive to think that AI cannot be smarter than humans. Smarter does not mean sentient. Smarter just means, you know, good at doing everyday tasks that human beings do, you know, that revolve around work without emotion, work without emotion attached to it. And so I believe that we need to build safety measures as we approach, you know, artificial general intelligence and people working on artificial intelligence need to be held accountable for their creation so there you have it thanks for watching like comment and share you can follow us on our social media channels on the links below see you next time bye bye